Open Gangnam Style Gangnam Style Hello and welcome to Networking Basics mini lecture series Type two, uh, part 2 sorry of address types we find within the address range of any IPv4 network in this mini lecture we will do a quick review of the three address types we will examine uh, the uh, the steps to calculating the three address types for a complex case and we will walk through examples together for uh, complex cases firstly within the ad address range of any IPv4 network we have two special addresses we have the network address and we have the broadcast address the network is always the first address and broadcast is always the last address and these addresses are never ever assigned to devices please take a moment to read the difference between a host and a broadcast address as a refresher let's look again at a simple case but this time let's look at a slash 16 instead of a slash 24 if you have mastered the simple case scenario then uh, do not hesitate to uh, fast forward to the next slide. moving on with the example a slash slash 16 indicates that the first two octets or the first 16 bits represent the network portion of the address and are constant they never change therefore our net so therefore our network address will be 1. Dot, well sorry 172.16 and all host bits being z0 would be dot zero, dot 0. recall these two octets represent our host bits and host bits having a value of 0 is 0 the broadcast address all host bits are at 1 knowing that our network portion never changes so if all host bits are at 1 we get 255.255 the range what is the range of uh, addresses we can assign to devices so it starts with 172.16.0.1.2.172.16.255.254. And finally, what is the number of hosts that uh, can exist in this network? So it's 2 to the 16. So if we have 16 host bits, or sorry, 16 network bits, then we have 32 minus 16. That is, we have 16 host bits left. So 2 to the 16 minus 2 equals, equals, oh, where is my, oops, sorry, there it is. I lost my uh, cursor here. 65. 1,534 in this network we have we can assign or 65,534 hosts can exist you'll soon realize that this kind of network is completely impractical alright so we've looked at simple cases now let us examine complex cases what is a complex case well let's look at this you know using what we've learned so far uh, slash 25 okay slash 25 means that we have uh, our network is represented by the first two octets and a portion of the third octet hmm it is very where do we draw the line you know we can't draw the line here because that's that would be a slash oh sorry let me take that back let me start over again here okay so slash 24 is three octets and we have one bit of the third octet well where do we draw the line here we can't draw the line here because that would be a slash 32 
so this is where we need to convert our numbers, our decimal numbers, back to to their native form, their native binary form. So let's examine the procedure uh, for a complex case. So uh, as you can see, the procedure is quite elaborate, or many steps. Uh, the first step is you convert your IP address to 32-bit binary form. You draw a vertical line after the last network bit. You set all host bits to zeros. And then you convert that 32-bit binary to dotted decimal. And the result is your network ID. Next, you set all host bits to ones. You convert your 32-bit binary to dotted decimal. And the result, oops, sorry, let's cross. This is shouldn't be there. Oh, the result, I apologize, is your broadcast address. Now, to get your first host address, you just add one to your network ID. To get your last uh, host address, you just subtract one from your broadcast address. And for the number of hosts in your network, the number of is 2 to the power h minus 2. Let's look at a practical example. All right, let us look at this uh, complex case here. 192.168.1.100 slash 25. First step is we convert the IP address to 32-bit binary, which gives us this result. We draw a vertical line after the last network bit. So we have 25 network bits. Now let us draw a line after the 25th bit. To facilitate things, let's uh, just identify uh, the octet. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so here we have our first, second, and third octet, which is 24 bits. And the vertical line, F, this is our 25th. All right, so we set all host bits to zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember that uh, host bits uh, r uh, remain constant, unchanged, across uh, same addresses of the segment. So here remains unchanged. And here remains unchanged, including this one, sorry. So this one also. All right. So what is the converted? So what is the converted 32-bit binary to dotted decimal? Well, this hasn't changed. It's 192. We know that the first three octets haven't changed. This so it's 192.168.1 dot, and what is our new octet converted to decimal? It is zero. So this is our network ID. Now moving on with the procedure to calculating the broadcast address. We set all host bits to 1. So we have 7 host bits and we set all of them to 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and six. just divide into the octets here. Remember, our first three octets have not changed. So it's 192, 168, dot 1 dot and this converted to decimal is 128. Uh, oh oh big boo boo it's not 128 it's 127. 
127 is our bot address. Now, our first uh, host or usable host address is network ID plus one, so it'd be 192. 168.1.1 and our last usable address or host address is 168 192.168.1.126 and finally how many usable hosts uh, do we have in this network we have 2 to the h h is 7 minus 2 2 to the 7 is 128, minus 2 is 126. So we have exactly 126 hosts or devices uh, that can exist on this network. If you're comfortable that uh, you've mastered and understand uh, the steps, then uh, by all means uh, move along. Uh, otherwise, uh, here is a, a cleaner example. So. Again, you can move on to the next slide, or you can uh, bear with me and uh, uh, walk through this exercise with me. So what's the first step? We convert our IP address uh, to 32-bit binary. And this is the result of that conversion. I just draw little lines here just to indicate to our octets. So this is our first, second, and third octet. We draw a vertical line after the last network bit. So here we have 25, 25 uh, network bit. So anything to the left is network, and everything to the right is host. To calculate your network ID, you set all host bits to zero, and you do not, do not touch the network bits. They are constant across a network. Now this is your 32-bit binary, your network ID in 32-bit binary. Now let's convert that to decimal. Our first three octets are part of the network, therefore they do not change. And our last octet is 128. So our network ID is, is 192.168.1.128. Now let's calculate the broadcast address. So we have, and the broadcast address, we set all uh, host bits to 1. So we have 7 host bits that we need to set to 1. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6. And we convert to dotted decimal, which gives us 192, 168, 1, That gives us our broadcast address. Now your first usable IP address is uh, 192, 168.1.2. 129, which is your network ID plus 1, and your last usable IP address is broadcast minus 1, which is 192.168.1.250. And number of uh, IP addresses that can be allocated in this network is 2 to the H minus 2, which is uh, 2 to the 7 minus 2, which is 126. So in this network, we have 126 addresses or devices uh, with that need IP addresses that can exist. A good way to practice is for you to rewind uh, to the first complex case and redo the examples with me. Uh, have a pen and paper with you and write down uh, exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I apologize for the messiness. I'm just getting used to my uh, my board here. But again, do these and uh, try them with me. So, summary. Uh, addresses that have subnet masks that are portions of an, of an octet, like we've just seen, when we have a subnet mask that is a, a portion of an octet, we, then, we require a more complex procedure to calculate the three address types of that uh, IP network segment. There are several uh, practice tests on Blackboard that allow you to calculate uh, broadcast address, uh, calculate network ID, um, and this is very important uh, material. Uh, there will be a number of questions on uh, the midterm, 
So you need to master these, uh, and the best way to master is to practice. So the next uh, set of slides or will be uh, the basics netting. All right, I uh, look forward to seeing you shortly. Bye-bye.